Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will be going to explain BJT, Bipolar Junction Transistor. Before I start with explanation, let me show you outlines of this video first. See here, first I will be discussing about meaning of BJT. After that, I will cover symbol of BJT. Then after, I will show you structure of BJT. After that, I will be discussing about basic fundamentals of BJT. And at last, I will be discussing about advantages, disadvantages and applications of BJT. So let us talk about meaning of BJT first. See BJT means bipolar junction transistor. So BJT is bipolar device. See both polarity electrons and holes participates in conduction process. So whenever current flows through BJT device at that time current is happening due to electrons and holes that's why bjt is bipolar device current flows due to both polarity electrons and holes in unipolar current may flow due to electrons or due to holes like you can have unipolar devices like fet but here bjt is bipolar device See, junction means here we have two PN junctions with BJT, collector base and emitter base. That is, I'll show you in structure. At a time, you'll get to know like how exactly junctions are there. There are two PN junctions with BJT, collector base and emitter base. Transistor means it has transfer resistance. See, BJT operates in three modes active cutoff and saturation in these three different modes resistance of bjt changes means you can say it has transfer resistance resistance is getting transferred with respect to operational region right that even i'll show you in upcoming videos like how resistance changes with respect to different modes of operation so based on its name you can understand so many things about bjt See, it is bipolar means conduction happens due to electrons and holes. There are two junctions, emitter base and collector base junction. It has transfer resistance means resistance of BJT changes with respect to its region of operation. Now, let us talk about symbols of BJT. See, basically there are two categories of BJT, PNP and NPN. And there are three terminals with BJT collector base emitter if you talk about symbol then you see here we have base here we have base and here we have collector and emitter is having arrow emitter is having arrow see with npn transistor arrow is there in outward direction in npn transistor arrow is there in outward direction and in pnp transistor arrow is there in inward direction that is how basic symbols are there. There are three terminals, collector, base, emitter. Base is connected like this. Collector is over here and emitter will be having arrow. Emitter will be having arrow. With NPN, arrow is there in outward direction and with PNP, arrow is there in inward direction. That is how basic symbols are there. Now, I'll explain you structure of BJT. See, I have told you in BJT, we have three terminals. You see emitter, base and collector. And there are two types of BJT, PNP and NPN. So here we have PNP structure. From name itself, you can understand. You see P type layer, N type layer and P type layer. PNP. In NPN, we have N type layer, P type layer and N type layer. N, P, N. See, middle layer that is base. Middle layer that is base. Here in PNP, you see collector is connected over here and emitter is connected over here. And there are two junctions. This PN junction that is of emitter base junction and this PN junction that is of collector base junction. Right. Here with NPN also, you see, this is emitter base junction and this is 
कलेक्टर बेस जंक्शन राइट नाउ लेट मी टॉक अबाउट पैरामीटर्स ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट विल बी द साइज ऑफ दिस लेयर्स देन सी कलेक्टर इज हैविंग हाईएस्ट साइज कलेक्टर वेड दैट इज हाईएस्ट राइट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर फ्रॉम डायग्राम इट सेल्फ यू कैन सी कलेक्टर इज हैविंग हाईएस्ट साइज राइट एंड बेस इज हैविंग लोएस्ट साइज यू सी बेस इज हैविंग लोएस्ट साइज राइट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट डोपिंग कंसंट्रेशन डोपिंग कंसंट्रेशन मींस विद इंप्यूरिटी वी फॉर्म n type and p type material so here emitter is having highest doping concentration emitter is having highest doping concentration collector is having mild doping concentration and base is having lowest doping concentration so whenever we form this materials for emitter base and collector at a time you should know this emitter is having highest doping concentration base is having lowest doping concentration and in terms of size collector is having highest size and base is having lowest size means width of base is very narrow and width of collector is highest over here that is how basic structures are there now let us talk about basics of bjt see bjt is three terminal device there are three terminals emitter base and collector it is three layer device there are two category npn and pnp that is what i have shown right pnp or you can have npm so it is three terminal three layer device and two junction device there are two junctions emitter base junction and collector base junction right see bjt is bipolar device bipolar means here current flows due to electrons as well as holes that's why bjt is bipolar device see bjt is current controlled device so in working i'll show you like how we control the current but one should know bjt is current controlled device where we can control collector current with the use of base current so if you vary base current collector current will change right so here if you change base current then collector current will change that's why one can say bjt is current controlled device right see width of base region is lowest and collector region is highest that that is what i have already told you collector is largest in size and base is having narrowed width right relatively so collector is having widest width right and base is having narrowed width see doping concentration of emitter is highest and base is lowest doping concentration of emitter is highest see this emitter that is having highest doping concentration and collector is having moderate doping concentration and base is having lowest doping concentration right now based on doping concentration what will happen there will be a formation of depletion region right see emitter is having highest doping concentration and base is having lowest doping concentration so emitter base junction built in potential is highest built in potential that happens due to depletion region over here so here when you form pn junction at that time at the side of p type there will be formation of negative ions at the side of p type there will be formation of negative ions right and at the side of n type there will be formation of positive ions and because of this ions here there will be depletion region and this ions will be generating built in potential as emitter is having highest doping concentration built in potential over here at emitter base junction that will be higher and here see this base is lightly doped and collector is moderately doped so here built in potential that will be that will be less compared to emitter base junction why the reason is emitter is highly doped that's why collector is lightly doped compared to emitter so here built in potential that will happen due to ions you see at this junction at the side of p type there will be formation of negative ions 
and at the side of n type there will be formation of positive ions so because of these ions here there will be built in potential but this built in potential at collector base junction that is less compared to built in potential over here at emitter base junction now one more thing that you need to understand see as emitter is highly doped width is less over here and width is high over here right so potential is higher over here but width is less and here potential is lower over here but width is more that is how things are there width of this depletion region right that is how things are there so these are the basics which you can understand based on construction right and that you should know before you learn bjt right like how it is operating in which mode it is operating all those things that you should know before you learn this right now here let us talk about advantages so here when it comes to advantages one should know bjt is having high voltage gain right it requires lower supply voltage and lower power dissipation is there and size is small right when it comes to disadvantages then it is having dependency on temperature it is having lower switching speed compared to mosfet and it is having bad noise figure compared to mosfet so usually in vlsi industries you will be observing we are using mosfet we don't use bjt why the reason is switching speed is less and it is having bad noise figure but in basic electronics we use bjt in very large scale integration circuit we use mosfet and when it comes to applications of bjt then there are so many applications like we can use bjt as a switch we can use bjt for filter we can use bjt for oscillator in amplifier so all these applications that i'm going to explain you in future coming videos with the use of bjt in this lecture series of basic electronics i hope you have understood this still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video